Naturalist Dottie here with Amphibian Awakening Part 3. So the amphibians we've seen so far have been salamanders, peepers, and the American toad. Now the last, well one of the last amphibians to wake up is the gray tree frog. Now in the background right now you're hearing one of the other frogs that wakes up kind of late in the year and that one there you go on cue was a green frog and they make like they say it sounds like kind of like a banjo twang so there we go we got gray tree frog on cue as well over to, to. thank you very much uh, so I, I told him to start singing when I when I started talking. So anyway, gray tree frogs are, are frogs that we don't see very often because typically we hear them and most people think they sound like a bird because they're up high in the trees. But actually, gray tree frogs are those frogs that are able to climb trees. They have toes that enable them to do that. And you might even see them by your window in your house, up on the second floor where you, when you have the light on up there, and they might be calling up there as well. So when we do get to see them down low is this time of year. Perfect hot heat, humidity. Well, the one thing we're missing tonight is rain. That's what they'd really like to have. But then they head down low at night to the vernal pools and the males again, males of the amphibians have the voices they're calling and the females are attracted and then they're going to lay their eggs in these pools now the tadpoles take about two whoa what was that <laughs> sorry take about two months to develop into little froglets and then these lime green little tiny froglets are, are out all over the shrubs around these vernal pools and i'm at the west woods by the way i forgot to mention that so you could come along to these vernal pools anytime, any evening, any time of year, and see lots of amphibians. Well, I'm going to let Linda take over and add some things to our fun facts about this awesome amphibian. Thank you. Well, hey everybody. <laughs> uh, you might just have to listen to me, it's getting dark, um, so you probably can't see me real well. But this is perfect time for the um, tree frogs, which are tuning up in the background. I thought maybe I'd mention that they, um, their scientific name is Hyla versicolor. And that versicolor says a lot about what this amphibian is able to do, and that is change color. It can be the same color and also texture as objects that it is sitting on. And um, of course that's all predator um, camouflage to avoid predators. And um, it, it's really amazing how they can change color. Um, I almost stepped on one on my driveway. I thought it was a rock. It was the exact same color as, as the concrete was. So, um, so you don't see them very often and that's one way they stay out of the sight of predators. Um, so most of the time they're gray, that's why they're called gray tree frog, and if you're able to actually catch one and take a closer look at it, you might notice that on the inside of the legs, um, the hind legs, it's bright yellow, and it's really a beautiful color. We're not sure what the purpose of that is. It could be predator um, warnings for predators that, hey, I don't taste good. Um, that also actually goes for the tadpoles. Dottie mentioned before um, that the tadpoles take a couple months to develop. And as they grow older, um, they get this wide tail that oftentimes turns red. And in nature, colorful things usually indicate that they taste bad. Um, and so the red tail on the little great tree frog tadpole might be a warning to predators hey don't eat me because I don't taste so good so um, anyway um, Dottie mentioned before that they have the ability to climb trees or 
possibly your house and most people might think they have little suction cups on the ends of their toes but that's not really the case they have small folds of skin that um that it's very tightly folded and it increases the surface area of their skin against whatever object they're climbing and then of course amphibians you have a mu mucus coating and so that mucus coating also helps them adhere to whatever surface they have to be climbing. Um, I've found them on my house at home near the windows at night. Dottie mentioned before you might see them. Why do they do that? Well, if you have your light on at night, it draws the insects. What do great tree frogs love to eat? Insects. So they're eating all kinds of invertebrates. And so, um, so they, they know when to take advantage of a good thing. So you may see them crawling around the windows of your house at night too. So anyway, hope you can come out to the West Woods and hear the great tree frog chorus. It's a great time of year to be out. Have fun. Hey everybody, look what literally fell out of the trees right by us here. I guess he's kind of photogenic and wanted to be part of this video. So, gray tree frog falling out of the sky. Uh, what is this spontaneous generation? Isn't that what they thought years ago when things came out of the sky? <laughs> anyway. I don't know, but it almost hit me on the head. It did. As we walked it literally by. almost landed. I think it wanted to t hitch a ride on Linda's hat. <laughs> oh my God. Very cool. See what experiences you can have if you come out to the park? <laughs> you can have frogs landing on your heads. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any, right. any way of, of maybe catching that yellow on right, the hind let's leg? See. Let's see if he'll cooperate and show off. Let's see. I'm going to turn him upside down. Oh, he doesn't like that. He thinks I'm going to eat him. But here we go, here we go. All right, come on. He's got a little suction pad. To there oh, you go. Look at look that. At, nice. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much for cooperating, okay. you cute little frog. And look at that. He just and you can see his little toes. Look at those little toes. And this one is kind of green, not gray. Very cool. Oh, what luck. Well, Dot, I don't know. You think you think you should put I him think clear, you should near go the by pond? The water. Yeah, good so, idea. He was kind of on the blacktop here. Yeah, yeah. Good thing we came along to save him. Yay! <laughs> All right. Oops. Oops. He, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. His belt. <laughs> now he's on my belt. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hello. Fun with, fun with frogs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. You want to go the other way? Should I take them? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. This yeah, go ahead. All right. I got you. There we go. Come on, you. All right. <laughs> All righty. There he is on the blacktop. He's like splayed out. And we're going to get him into the water. He's going the wrong way. Let's go this way, you guys. All righty. Take him over. Join your buddies over there. There we go. Woohoo. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, Dot. <laughs>